So now that we have an understanding of this basic diagram, now you guys know what, what I'm trying to build here, a user with a list of wishes, a wish with a category. This is how it would be implemented in the rows inside a relational database. So let's put in some words here. You are going to have, in a relational database, you're going to have a few tables. So let's just uh, look at what's tables here. So the different tables in this system would be, this would be a table, all of it here. This would be a table, this guy right here and then we would have a table here for the category. So those are all tables. And each table would have a list of rows. So let's just add a few rows here. Rows, or row maybe. So in this case, we would have a few rows. Um, I would have a row right here. This is the first row. And then I would have a row over here. There's another row here. There's another row, right? So these are all the rows of this relational uh, database here. This is a row, this is a row, etc., etc. So these are the rows of my table. A single row could be a wish, right? A single row could also be a user. So that's the rows of my table. I also have columns in a table. So let's uh, just add a few columns here as well. A column that's kind of explaining the different areas. So let's just uh, again make a small few lines here. This is a column name and we have the column of ID and we have the column of mail. So these columns kind of represent a single line of information in the row. So I have a column of name. So this row has fiat in the name column, right? And then the last thing is, of course, the entire thing is the database. So this is the relational database itself. So that's the database. Of this. So that's kind of the terms we use inside um, when we're talking about the relational database. That's we have a, a, a database with some tables, with some rows, with some columns. So that's the terms we use when we're talking relational database. Next, let's look at how it's called in the Mongo database.